welcome crypto fam to the x wallet today i'm gonna show you how to fund your wallet how to make a wallet and how to keep your crypto and cadena safe because you never want to leave your crypto on an exchange and uh, by having cadena on this wallet you will be able to participate in the um, cadena ecosystem if other projects and tokens launch and also nft projects um yeah like in june there are so many nft projects coming up and that's why i'm gonna make you this video and show you how to set everything up accordingly so First thing you want to do is hop over to xwallet.cadex.com and if you hop over here you can already see two download buttons. So just click on one and it will redirect you to the Chrome extension. So just click on add to Chrome and just let it load for a second until it's there. And yeah, after it is there, you will see this pop up up here. You will also see your X wallet um, down here, but first let's set, up, let's set it up here. So click on start now and here you can see that they will never collect your keys, they will never sell your data and never collect your full IP address, which is awesome. Click on next and then read the terms of use, which are actually very important. I still have to read them, but um, I just want to uh, tell you to, to read them and not to just skip them. So after this, click on create new wallet, which is also still very easy. And now put in a password. After putting in a password, just click on create. And now you will be directed to your secret recovery phrase. This is very important. I would suggest to not download it onto your computer or to, or to save it onto your computer. Just write it down somewhere um, to keep it safe because if you get hacked and you have your seats on your computer, it's never <laughs> that good. Your phones will be lost. And also if you lose it, um, uh, Cadex and X Wallet will not be able to restore your wallet or help you recover your funds. So just keep that in mind like um, mostly any other wallet. So if you're ready, click that you understand everything and click on continue. Now you can click up here and you will see a secret recovery phase. As you can see, you can download it, but that's what um, I personally uh, would recommend. Um, yeah, so just write your, uh, write your seats down and then we can continue. Now that you've written them down safely, click on continue and now you will have to verify your recovery phase, of course. So uh, go on and do this real quick. After you put those in, click on continue and as you can see, I made a mistake. <laughs> Let me just check uh, my seats real quick. So now it should work, <laughs> perfect. And now you will have to re-enter your password you have chosen at the beginning. So let me just do this too. And then click on sign in. And now you, um, yeah, you set up your wallet perfectly. And now we can continue to fund it and everything else. So first of all, um, your account name is your wallet address, okay? This is uh, uh, the address you always copy to uh, send funds, uh, to get funds, um, yeah, to, I don't know, to verify your wallet address, etc. That's what you uh, should already know. And up here, you can choose main and testnet. And down here are the chains, okay? Most uh, projects, NFT projects, or for example, if you want to um, withdraw some um, Cadena from KuCoin to your wallet, it will have to be on chain one. So always, always, always depends on uh, what you do. Check um, if, uh, yeah, check what chain you will need um, for the beginning. In future, it will be different, but now uh, check that you are on chain one, most importantly. And now I will show you how to get funds to this wallet. Let me just change to my other wallet so I don't have um, too many wallets with uh, too many random funds. Give me one second. So now you are ready to fund your wallet. And again, as you can see on this wallet, I am on chain null or zero, depends on how you wanna call it. So make sure you are on chain one um, to just not send funds wrong and lose them, okay? So in my case, I will use, um, I will send myself some funds from uh, KuCoin. So first thing you will have to do is copy your address here, or you can also click on receive, copy it down here, or the QR code. As you see, it's also on chain one. And now if you're over to KuCoin and then press, uh, press on withdrawal, you will see this pop out that only chain one is supported. Again, I'm telling you five, six times so you don't forget because this is very, very important. Also when minting NFTs, uh, for example, um, Cadena, uh, Cadena Bulls in a few days. Um, yeah, just make sure that you're on the right chain, okay? Click on okay and then put in your address and down here, choose Cadena, of course. There will be this uh, one Cadena um, fee, but this is from the exchange and not from Cadena itself. So you will never have to worry about uh, fees um, when buying NFTs, when buying uh, anything on the Cadena ecosystem in future because Cadena has um, literally, um, I don't know, a tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a penny uh, in fees. So this is awesome. 
Um, but now let's continue, click on Cadena, click on confirm, and then choose how much you wanna send over. Um, again, chain one, and then just click on withdrawal. This will now take um, a few minutes or like one minute to show up at your wallet. Let me just um, confirm this and then you will able to see it there. Now you can see my Cadena arrived and you can also, of course, view it um, up here in your normal uh, extension. So yeah, this is actually it. It's very easy to set up your Cadena wallet and to add funds to it. Just make sure you are on the right chain. And now I hope you all have fun minting some NFTs, buying uh, stuff on the Cadena ecosystem and have as much fun as I do. Um, if you liked it, feel free to um, yeah give me a comment on how it went for you and like this should be it. I hope you like this little info. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.